in 3v3s. Since then, they went on that lower bracket run. They've won their last seven 3v3 competitions. They're eight and 12 so far in threes. So seven of those eight coming in those last two series. And we're underway here, the opening kickoff in stacks. I. This is gonna be an insane day of Rocket League. It absolutely is. A loaded top eight bracket and players getting the opportunity to make a name for themselves. Maybe the expense of Devo, whose shot is blocked away. Dorito as well. This is still on the goal line and CRR will tap it home. Uh, one of the, I think, easier shots here for CRR in, in his history is this ball just kind of bounces there. It's actually off his own shot. He just eventually got to go and clean it back up. It's one of those ones where it catches the crossbar and it's just like, really, man? You really can't just roll across the line for me. You're going to make me do this ball. Remember when Devo greatly enhanced his shooting accuracy by scoring a couple of those that don't even register as shots because they're already halfway in the goal when he delivers the final touch. It's Guild who gets the opening goal. Now it's Zazonix trying to answer back. This one dunked right back in. And Masa dispossessed. It's given away. Doritos there, 2-0 Guild. Gil coming out strong here in the opener. And again, that duo so far, it's the CRR Dorito show, and both of them have a goal apiece thus far. Up 2-0 early, only 40 seconds into this series. Going up against the team here, 0-1 uh, against Guild. Guild is 4-1 in the oh. three. CRR getting a solo play, and Devo comes in to slam it home. We'll set him up too and go, hey, Devo, we got we to get you on the board as well here early. Another five seconds go by, and Guild is out for blood early here in game one. All three players getting involved, all of them, with one goal apiece thus far. Devo, the only one without an assist. Come on, make yourself useful. Here we go. <laughs> Mawson stuffed by Dorito. Follow-up from Ams is blocked away by CRR. And Devo sends one out. Says Onyx is right there, but his floater is going to be easily dealt with by Devo. Ran out of boost. Trying to find any that he can around the field and still looking. Only CRR has any boost at all. Gill trying to make their living off of pennies at the moment as Devo's shot is blocked away by Mosin. But right there is Dorito and Guild again just swarming the orange half of the field. And through over and over, quite a few attack runs and it hasn't stopped yet. An open net and that one going to be shot well wide out into the corner, which will give Zazonix an opportunity to try and go for an infield touch there for Ams. But eventually that play just broken up. Devo back there as that third man able to make a solid touch and bring it forward. Sorry, that was Dorito. Devo now on the attack, tries to put one just high. CRR opting for the shot this time. Ams had to deal with it. Mawson was there as well. But it is all Guild right now. The first couple of minutes dominated by the European side that is looking for things to start going their way at just the right time. Before, of course, the World Championship is Dorito drop one down and CRR has to peel away. Ams gave that one away. Dorito again. Oh, he put him to sleep. Dorito with the fake and the teardrop falls right into the net. Just falling in. Dorito just up there doing flips and tricks, just kind of hanging out, having a good time. A little free spin there, and the ball just falls in. 4-0. A brutal start here for this series. Guild up over 0-1. Dorito looking for more as he goes down underneath, and he's just got 0-1 downloaded at the moment. There's just nothing they can do to stop him. He knows exactly what they're thinking on the defensive end, and he's dancing around them. Dorito again, second touch, throw it in front. Dorito will score himself. Nobody else dove in. Dorito did it all himself. Yeah, it's just not right. You're not supposed to have them downloaded in game one. It's supposed to take a couple games before you do that. You're not supposed to show up like this. There's supposed to be a battle, Stax. All right, now, if this was a fight, they would stop it. Guild up five on 0-1, who had such an emotional run yesterday all through the lower bracket after dropping to Dignitas in the upper semis. CRR stuffed there with 0-1 coming back and beating Renegades a second time and then oh. getting revenge off of Dignitas, winning all of the 3v3s. And we kind of hinted that that could be a possibility in this format where 
All the odd numbered games are still threes. It could still happen here now that they're best of sevens. One, three, five, and seven are now three v3s with of course ones and twos sprinkled throughout the big difference of course being that six game where somebody gets an extra choice of whether or not we go ones or twos the worry right now for me is that really the threes is where the job was getting done for this 01 esports team yesterday and right now it is not looking good. They are going to have to get this figured out immediately, or at least figure it out during the time that the next match occurs to get set up for that next 3v3, because they're going to need that to get through. They do finally strike, finally on the board there, as Mawson's able to come through off the pass from Zazonix, who gets it through the corner. Devo gets the touch, and then is able to just clean that up. But again, the 3v3, you're going to need to get a bit more. I like to see a little bit more energy after that one. Couple more goals before this one ends. Zazonix getting involved in that play, though, getting yet another assist. He leads the team, and he's third in the tournament in assists. And I imagine he's going to be a big, big factor. 0-1 is going to make waves here in what could be a 2v2 coming up. I mean, do you... I mean, you start to look forward to the next game. Do you go with Ams in the 1v1? You probably have to. I Because you're, if you go down 2v2, you're looking down the barrel of CRR and Dorito, good luck. And right now, performance overall thus far, they've got a 50% win rate in the ones, only a 40% win rate in the five games that they've played so far in the twos. Masa going to strike again here, so two goals now on the board. A little bit of time left on the clock, going to be a is. tough task to pull off three, but starting to heat up. Defense looking a little bit better, finding some opportunities back downfield, and Mawson's been there to be able to get those goals in. Doors open, but it's closing quickly. As much as, uh, as, as Onyx has shined with the team play, Mawson has shined in a big, big way. Had to have the series of his life against Dignitas, and he did. Probably could have been MVP if, if the numbers looked a little better. Of course, Ams playing the 1v1 certainly showed up in a big way. Nearly took down, apparently, Jack in the ones matchup. Jack fighting for survival for Dignitas. Very disappointed with his performance for absolutely no reason. Here's Dorito, though. Guild putting the finishing touches on a dominant game one. Zero one made some headway at the end of it. They got the lamp to light up a couple of times. We'll see if that helps them going forward into their choice of either twos or ones for game two. Even then, at the end, they had a few more opportunities that were looking like they were getting set up, but Guild in the end also knew, hey, all we got to do is defend. We just got to set this up. They played a little bit more reserved, which slows that down, but the opportunities were there. Didn't convert to goals, but it looked better in that back half than it, absolutely better in the back half than that opening three minutes. So Guild runs its 3v3 record to 5 and 1. They stopped the seven match win or seven game win streak for 0-1 in the 3v3 department. And I think it's been made very, very clear now going forward in this series. If 0-1 is going to come back and take down Guild, and I think it would be an upset, they're gonna have to do it in the alternate formats because at least based on that game, there doesn't seem to be much of a contest there. Unle it. Unless Mosin gets going, which he did at the end of that game. He did at the end of that game, and then also, depending on how they decide to run this, uh, if they do decide to run the ones, that's going to give Mosin and Zazonix time to kind of talk, get in free play, try and figure out what needs to happen in that threes while Ams runs. And Ams is the better performance out of the ones versus the twos. He's been having the better performance so far. My guess is that they would run ones. I, I absolutely agree with what you were saying before. I would not want to run the twos against CRR and Dorito. You know that it has to come at some point. I'm not trying to take that in game two, though. First three series that 0-1 played, they dropped the first game. So they've had that choice. They have it again. They Ooh. go with twos. So we know okay. now we'll see 1v1 in game four. But then if we get to a six game, There'll be a choice to be made again, but we've got a long way to go before we're even thinking about a six game. Here's game two with Dorito and CRR, the confident duo that has not lost in this tournament, 2-0 in their upper bracket matches over the past couple of days, and CRR looking to start it off with a bang, but Zazonix is right there to pop off the first shot. 
Little touch there from Dorito. Just going to pop it right out into the hands of Mawson. And oh, so Zonic's running him. ahead. Oh, he didn't get him. Tried to get involved, trying to be a little bit of a bully up there and get him off the ball. Dorito, it's going to be wide of the net. It'll give opportunity for the defense to get back. He will pop it out. CRR should be there first. Well met, though, by Zazonix off the back wall. Reed jumps out and is able to get in the way and break that play up. Only has one to beat oh, here on my. Dorito. Mawson looking to do it himself. Goes for the flip reset. Tries to fake it through. Dorito not biting. Mamasa did a great job just getting that ball in a favorable position. Now playing away from the oncoming defender, but CRR right there in the net. He'll send that shot away. Challenge goes high out of the corner, and Dorito's got it over to CRR to play off to the wing, but this should be 0-1 ball all the way. As that one's just give it away. Both teams just kind of jockeying for position, looking for that early strike. Mawson now got over CRR, and he still managed to make the save with the backflip. In what world does that one not get challenged a little bit earlier, get a little bit more pressure, a great save there on the line. They've been making good defensive stands thus far. Haven't seen that offensive pressure that we're used to seeing out of them as a duo thus far, as those opening touches out of CR and Dorito have been a little bit off and not really something that the other one can follow up on. They haven't been able to progress that ball back downfield. Mawson, though, now with control, going to look to try and cut it in behind CRR, which is just going to be a little bit too big of a defender as he gets in the way, uh -oh. breaks it up. Open net. Dorito and CRR both commit. Whoa. Dorito pulls off. CRR comes through and Guild strikes first. That one narrowly missed on the near side with CRR and Dorito fighting for position there. It was just this low-hanging fruit. They're like, no, no, mine, mine, mine. Well, it's 1-0 to Guild. They survived the double commit there. And now Dorito trying to pinch that back in. Of course, we have seen one of the infamous cooks or pinches in this tournament, an overtime winner back on day one. Mawson now. Possession, gonna have an opportunity here to go around CRR. No, once again, door is shut immediately. They haven't had a whole ton of offense, like I said, on the Guild Esports side, but man, is the defense looked solid thus far in this twos matchup. Austin shot, stuffed by Dorito. CRR caught Zazonix coming up, and he, oh, he still got back to make the initial save, but CRR right there, it bounced right out to him. You can see Zazonix was just trying to get this out to a side any way he could, and unfortunately, it just comes right out off the inside. Couldn't get enough of that. Sometimes it's hard to catch that, that angle on the post. Sometimes you catch the inside edge of it, and it just kind of battles its way back in or becomes a dead ball in front of the net. Oh, oh here we go. Off goal. There you go. That's a way to get on the board. 0-1, finally going to get one. Only halfway through, plenty of time left in a twos match to try and get a few more goals on the board and pull this one back. But that's a great way to get it going. That is a wide cheat coming up there, and 0-1 all over it with Mosin just charging straight ahead. The Zonic's doing a good job killing that ball for him, but now he's got to play a little bit of defense off the ensuing kickoff. Dorito trying to get a high bouncer, and he at least has that central, but Mawson's right there. So CRR has to wait, won it cleanly, and the Zonix needs a second touch. He's got it, but he's going to have to forego that corner boost taken away by CRR. Dorito waiting for a pass that'll never get there, so now he'll have to go to work himself. Waiting his timeout. He was trying to bait them in a little bit, but a little too long, and they're able to come out and make a touch. Dorito now to the corner, see what he can do. Looking for that second touch, doesn't have it. CRR able to read that, though, immediately. And a good cut in from Dorito, can't get there in time. He'll be able to outlet that into the corner. But an attack is coming. Moss in under one, but can't get around the second. That's oh, a way to get through. demo, one. yes, sir. But oh. CRR gets back to save the day and preserve the lead for Guild. And Dorito back into the play as well. That leaves Mawson in an awkward spot, but he at least buys time and got the ball forward for Zazonix. That was the perfect time for the coach, Cam. Just the just the nod of approval yep. from Duda is, yes, good job. Oh, dangerous ball there that Dorito had to scramble back for. Gilder awkward right now. Zazonix trying to do the work himself. Mawson waiting. Ball's never going to get to him. He's got to get back now. Maybe pick his spot right at midfield. For CRR away from the play, though, with the fake. And now trying to go over Dorito, went Bob. through him, but CRR there again in support. How about the defense of CRR in this second game? Almost single-handedly keeping Guild in front because Dorito's been such a target. 
Yeah, they've been absolutely just trying to brutalize their way through Dorito. And CRR's recoveries have just been there time and time again to make sure that he's able to fill that gap when it does occur. Looking to go up against the sidewall here through Zazonix. Can't get through. Across the other side, Dorito will not be able to beat them there. Knows that he needs to go back. He'll allow CRR to cut back in. And now his challenge is up against Zazonix again. They're a little late and immediately has to turn off. Out of the corner here, CRR. Had to take it away. 10 seconds. Guild try to finish this one off much closer than the 3v3 in game one. But still could be the same end result. Got to get this in the air. No, the clock hits zero. And Guild hangs on. But they had their work cut out for them, hanging on for dear life for the last two minutes when 0-1 turned up the pressure. And as you said before, I mean, really just a stellar performance defensively out of CRR. Fills the gap time and time and time again, making saves, dashing across the goal, making sure that he comes in and he's at least challenging early enough to kind of force those players off, let them know that you do not have me beat. You will, you may have got through the first one. You're not getting through me and kind of forcing that offensive line down. They had a couple attacks, but it wasn't sustained offense. They weren't finding a way through because CRR was there so quickly to break it up. It was one attack off, one attack off. They may have stopped them in the midfield, but it wasn't just a constant swarm. Winner of this series gets the winner of the North American battle coming up next between Space Station and FaZe. But remember, we're only halfway towards determining a winner here with Guild winning two. Still need to get to four with these being best of sevens all throughout our top eight playoffs as Marky gives his words of encouragement to the squad. That may or may not be listening. You saw one probably just <laughs> kind of looking down there like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, uh, he's still talking. Yeah, yeah, we're winning, man. Yeah, yeah we're, yep, we're Leave winning. Leave us alone. We got this. We don't need any hype. We're all, we're, we're building our own hype over here, Marky. Uh, I think if more teams listened to Marky in the past, they might have done a little bit better. Looking at you, <laughs> uh, what, going back to like Excel, I think it was. Ooh. Well, here we go. We've got a 2-0 lead for Guild. And more to come, perhaps. 0-1, going back to the 3v3s, of course. With the odd-numbered games, last game went 5-2 in favor of Guild in the 3v3s. See if anything has changed now. Mawson has had some time to get warmed up. His shot sent away by Dorito. Am's back onto the pitch. He'll be featured in the 1v1 shortly in game four as he gets it going to start game three. That's huge for them getting an opening goal here after taking two losses. They didn't get the first strike in either of them. They need a little bit of energy on their side. They also, we know as of yesterday, 3v3 is where they get the job done. Getting an opening goal here is a great turnaround, but can they maintain that? That score line in the previous 3v3 was a bit of a blowout, so they're gonna have to be able to stand tall defensively see how they stack oh, up an bump. air bump just a brutal one just a heat-seeking missile there that for sam's all the way towards guild's backboard and now dorito he's been full of fakes all the way through got to change it up every now and then though if everything's a fake nothing's a fake because dorito popped one over CRR is there, what a drop down, but it hit the crossbar. Zazonic's a little panic, but still on the second jump, made the save on Devo's effort. Guild nearly equalizing there, 0-1, showed some cracks in the defense, but in the end, they stand tall. This one's gonna flow back down into the side of Guild. Maybe another opportunity for 0-1 as this one floats across the line. Going for the touch there for Mawson, but a good read from Dorito is able to cut that off before he can drop that down for a teammate to come up and make an attack. Roller across the line now, and, or across the box, and Mawson will be there. Open Demolition, net. open net, CRR tie game. Guild able to tie it up here fairly early. Took a, uh, you know, took him about a minute here to get this one through, but so much time left in the game. Guild Esports looked so solid in that first game. And obviously through the 2v2 as they are up here 2-0. Need two more. I'm sure the way that they're feeling coming into the day, they would love nothing more than to have that energy of just kind of cleaning through this one, just 4-0 sweeping to be able to carry that over to tomorrow. What a statement it would be too for Guild opening up the playoffs with a dominant victory. A team that probably needs something like that to go their way. They've had an outstanding tournament so far. I think they've been one of the surprises. Sure, we expected them to have some success here, but everything that we've expected to happen 
It has definitely been questioned as CRR goes out of the corner. Second Ooh. touch not there. Devo is, but his shot blocked away as well. The defense from 0-1 holding again, but they were certainly tested in that instance. I mean, yeah, you were kind of talking about things going the way we expect or did not expect. I mean, 0-1 being here is a bit of a testament to that and the fact that they got through that Dignitas match yesterday trying to find a way to get something done here against Gil. Uh -oh. Have to commit two. The two commit, and all it does is just nicely and softly drop that ball right on the line. CRR able to pad the stats a little bit. Nope. Doesn't count as a shot there. Just a free goal. <laughs> Unlucky for 0-1 right at the halfway mark. That 1-1 deadlock has been broken. 0-1 has shown great improvement between games 1 and 3 already. Even putting up quite the fight in the 2v2. Of course, all hopes are going to rest on AMS if they do not find a way to come out on top here. Dorito, big, powerful clear, but nobody else diving forward, so Dorito Gonna have to take this himself. Devo flipping back, but it's Mawson to take things over. Had the read and had something lined up, but then got demolished for his efforts. Devo tries to score on the other side, and Ams has the save and a demolition to stop any follow-up efforts from Guild. Now Ams downfield and just beaten by the respawn. Well, it was just kind of awkward ones where he couldn't quite match the speed of the ball in time as he had to try and break check under it because he was ahead of the play. Couldn't get the piece before the defense comes through. It'll be Ams up against Devo there. He'll win the 50 through. That one going to be just wide off the post and down the other way this one goes. Ams will have to try and get back there to cut it off before Dorito comes up for the attack. Looks for the bump in the corner to try and take him out. Oh, that's great focus from Ams as Dorito's trying to chase him down in the corner and he still managed to get that ball through. Didn't quite have the control he would have liked, but he did enough. And now look at him <laughs> bullying his way through. 0-1 looking for an equalizer. And Mousen had to make that quick turn. He thought maybe Dorito was going to power that ball away. So 0-1 back to the drawing board here in the final minute now of game three. Just mentally, you figure they have to win this game to give themselves a realistic shot. Us bringing the upset over Guild. Guild with a 3-0 lead in this particular format, the way they've gone in threes and twos. It would seem almost unfathomable that 0-1 could come back. Though, again, we've seen some pretty strange things this week. As that one goes a little bit high over Mawson, and Devo just pop one away and slows down the counterattack. Actually works out well for him. Kind of a dangerous spot as that third man being on that east-west kind of face and not really being able to try and get back downfield. That goes wrong for him. That's an open goal back the other way. He gets enough of a touch, and the teammate's able to play it back into him. So it's a... Nice little setup and play there off that touch in the midfield from him. Dorito now on the attack, though, looking for the infield pass for CRR. I like Adam how Gilder. Yeah, I like how, sorry, I like how Gilder kind of taking their time and not just giving the ball back to 0 1. Yeah. Forcing them to come at them. Burn boost, born, uh, uh, boom. Uh, wow. Burn positioning as well, and Guild will take game three. Man, you got it together just in time for yeah, that right? match. Yeah, right? There we I'm go. Proud of you. I'm glad like that you got there. Like a true professional. It's all right. It's okay. Nothing will be as bad as, as my zero seconds yesterday. So we'll... Bib, 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 bib. That's all, folks. <laughs> all right. 3-0 to Guild Esports. One win away, but now they've got to go through AMS. It'll be presumably CRR versus AMS to potentially close things out here for Guild. I mean, looking at it, you, if you look at it from a raw stats point, you say, oh, okay, Am's got a shot. CRR has a 0% win so far in his matchups. But then you look at who he played. He only played one, and it was Ray's Bull. I'd say that is a tough ones matchup. So this one here could potentially be the end. Am's versus CRR is our expectation. Yeah, it'd be surprising to see anything else, and we'll see if Ams can ignite this 0-1 squad. Of course, they'd have to go through another 3v3 after that. Then Guild would have a choice. You know they would go with 2v2 with CRR and Dorito again, and then they'd have to do it again in the 3v3. So again, that's the road that's ahead for 0-1. You can't worry about all of that. You got to worry about Ams in a 1v1 here with CRR, presumably, here in Game 4. And to be fair, that twos match wasn't necessarily a blowout. It, it was not. I was surprised it, it as well. Was, it was kept pretty close. Um, so potential's there. We're not saying that 
Potential looks amazing. It is a tough road ahead. Potential but just it's means there. potential just means it's you don't have anything right now. <laughs> CRR, AMS, one one v one here, and surely the only one v one of this particular matchup. So AMS gonna make it count here. The pressure that you feel in this moment right now, if you're AMS, this is to keep your team alive in a match for the highest dollar amount of a single series that we have had to date, Stacks. Yeah, this is just the amazing the stakes that are present in this tournament, in this match right here. AMS blocked by CRR, just nudged him a little bit and still got possession. Of course, you also feel like 0-1 Collectively, they got to be playing with house money at this point, right? Yeah. Nobody expected them, you know, the third team in the MENA region to make this kind of a run. Anything they get at this point is just the icing on the cake. As CRR going at AMS, good stop, but CRR quick recovery. Oh, oh but maybe a little too quick for his own good as AMS strikes first. All right, first goal going to go the way of 0-1 Esports. Maybe this is where things start going the right way for them. Maybe this is the turning point. Might be a little early to be saying that as we've still got four minutes and nine seconds left in a 1v1 match, which we know these, these score lines can balloon up real quick. 35th goal of the tournament for Ams, who of course has been the 1v1 guy for 0-1, and he's had plenty of opportunities to play. This now the 20th game of the tournament for him across all the different formats, and he gives up an equalizer here to CRR. Good quick play here from CRR as he wins that kind of battle, forces Ams to have to cut around in the corner and make that hard pivot turn, and he just cannot get that cut quite in time. CRR first one back to the ball and is able to slot that in on that kind of wide angle there out of the corner. Ties it up 1v1, and they just a dead stop as both players just hit the ball clean, and momentum goes nowhere. Just ran into a brick wall. Oh. Ams, though, on the other hand, one off the brick wall on the back wall and able to put it in. And with that goal, with just as many games now as Ray's Bowl for complexity, AMS now moves into second place in the tournament. Of course, everybody looking up at Raziers, who's dropped 46 for Team Heat. He'll have his hands full later against Falcons, our final match of the day. A long way to go before we get there. CRR tried to pinch that off of AMS, and that's not going to work out. 36 on the tag, four goes the corner boost. And Ams going to try to work here, flick over, and he'll grab the corner out of CRR's side. Braziers with 46. That's got to be like the highest amount of goals scored by a sub in a single tournament. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, uh, can, can you ask any more of a sub? Uh, yeah, he's been, he's been phenomenal, where some teams have kind of missed their 1v1 specialist from Gamers Without Borders. Heat have been in good hands, adding Braziers. Ams. Trying to handle CRR, and what a win here. Tough angle, but he'll convert as Ams scoop and score, 3-1. Ams looking really solid right now in a lot of these plays, kind of making these off-paced off kind of uh, challenges on the ball there. Faking like he was going to go back down the field and try and play that battle where you see the two race down the sidewall and it becomes this kind of bob and weave with the ball trying to find a cut angle in. He actually decides to just dead stop, do that half flip straight into the boost and just run away with it. A lot of speed there, a lot of control coming out of that. He's not going to be able to get a touch there, just kind of keeping the challenge, seeing if he can maybe clip CRR on his way through and give himself an opportunity for the ball. Underneath looks for the low play. Hit hard enough, though, by CRR that it just gets shot back down the other way. It will give possession back to AMS, though. With the slight change in format between the qualifiers and this, you oh. wondered if these teams like 0-1 could still thrive in a format where threes again becomes more prevalent. I would still love to see what the 0-1 team could do if they could get more of AMS in a 1v1. CRR, though, with the win of his life, getting it back within one. It all comes off of that initial attempt there from AMS to try and get a touch. It looked like he was trying to maybe pinch it off that back wall, send it across over into the corner to chase it down. But he comes up just wide of it, and that ball pops high, which forces him to have to try and make an attempt to read where that shot's going to come from and get up early. Couldn't get that read done, though. And CRR able to just kind of take his time, watched him jump early to go high, and oh. able to throw it under. And right here again, another strike as he comes through with that power flick and just puts it right out of reach. 
Eighth goal of the series for CRR. None more important than that one right there that ties up game four. It was a nice little cut right at the end, too. At the beginning of that, it looked like he was going to shoot it over onto the far post side, which was what Ams went to try and cover. And he did a little cut right at the end underneath the ball to pick it up and flick it into that other corner. Caught him off guard. He just couldn't get there. As exciting as these matches have been, there have been no greater emotional roller coasters than the ones, especially the 1v1 last night with oh. Ams and apparently Jack, where it looked like multiple times Ams was going to close it out. Got a demolition here as he'll have free reign to go back and collect this ball. CRR, plenty of time to respawn. 50 in the tank for the defense. Ams going to go right through him, and it's high off the crossbar. CRR has got an open net and a lead for Guild. They're great. They're really hard to defend against when you get those air dribble bumps, but the shot's got to be on target. If you do not put it on the net, it is just an open field behind you. And that's exactly what comes through. CRR able to just run that one right back down the field. Ams unable to recover in time. He'll be down one now in a situation where he must win. Tournament life again today is all single elimination. You either win four or go home. CRR, quick turn as Ams patiently waiting, almost trying to bait him in, read what he's doing. Not much in the tank. Made the initial save, but now he's got to live off pennies, and there aren't many of those available. Here goes CRR again. I think he knows that Ams doesn't have any boost. Just got to be in full-on attack mode, trying to take him off the pitch. And now the shot here, saved away. CRR try again. Can't bully his way through. Ams not going to win the race to the corner boost. Really stuck in no man's land here. And finally can get that corner and give himself a shot. Trying to work in the air, and CRR is still there to cut him off. Got away just in time. Almost got demoed and ripped off the pitch. He had just enough room, and that ball had enough angle out into the midfield that allowed him to get away into that corner. He'll have possession here, looking to try and go underneath or fake off CRR. It doesn't work out. He's stuck back in his own corner. Ball floating. Easy shot. CRR up by two. It's 5-3 with 17 left on the clock. Got to have two good kickoffs here now for Ams, or at least get to the ball very, very quickly off of it. Otherwise, Guild are going through into the semifinals, awaiting the winner of our next series between Space Station and FaZe. <laughs> yeah, the hits just keep on coming. There is not a bad matchup today, for sure. Ams, opportunity cut off by CRR, and unless he's got a miracle up his sleeve, that's just about going to do it. CRR slams shut the door as Guild get a clean 4-0 sweep. 105k extra added to the bank for the side of Guild Esports and a berth into tomorrow's match.